Kobe Covington is in the house. We got him. We managed the floods. Shout out to Noah and his arc. Yeah. But he made it here. But there's a lot of rumors out there with Colby. Um, here's one of the things that I, you know, if you just Google, Google's a hell of a drug. You can just Google Colby Covington. What's going on? Daniel Cormier mm. had a couple of things that he had to say. DC is, you know, he's sitting right next to Rogan, right, right uh, in front of Dana White when they're doing their thing, talking about this guy, Ian Gary, that we talked about last time. Yeah. And this guy, we, you know, I'm going to let you say what you have to say about the wife and the this and the ex. Um, but here's what he had to say about this potential fight. And then obviously I want to hear from you. So here's what Cormier had to say. Kobe. Kobe. Hit play and can't say or try to determine who gets a title fight right now because of the way he lost to Leon Edwards and the way he fought. And it seems like he's unwilling to fight Ian Gary. He should maybe step back and just like not really uh, say much at all until another fight comes his way. I don't know what the hesitance is to fighting Ian Gary for Kobe Covington. I don't know if he just doesn't want to fight back in the rankings, but I think he needs to recognize that in this situation, that's kind of what he's going to get right now. Well, a fight with so, Muhammad is unlikely to happen. If you go to the beginning of the clip, I, I want to make sure, thank you, you know, pause. Until a, if you go to the beginning of the clip, I want to make sure that you know that he said at the beginning, I love Kobe. Mm -hmm. I love Kobe. But come on, Kobe. Come on, brother. I want him to, so I want to let you respond. But before I do, this guy Ian Gary's had some things to say. But dude, I'm going to tee this up and I want you to knock this thing out of the park. Can I play this clip? So here's what Ian Gary had to say about this potential fight. Do you have this uh, clip, Alicia, on what he had to say um, about our friend Colby? Uh, it's, this, it's a different clip, if you want to pull that up. Okay. You know he's going to knock it out of the park. Just He's whining up. You give him an extra time. <laughs> well, while she's pulling that up. Respond to what you think Daniel Cormier had to say that, and then we'll, we'll tee up um, Ian Gary's clip. What's going on? Yeah, you know, I love Daniel Cormier as well. You know, he's a friend of mine, but everybody knows he's a media head now, so he'll do anything to get some clickbait. And mm. who's the easiest name in the UFC to get some clickbait off of? Oh, trash Colby Covington. Oh, t say Colby Covington some mean things about him, and you'll get sympathy from the fans and, and from the media people because all the media is a bunch of liberal leftists anyways. So... You know, Daniel doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never been the A-side, so he doesn't know what it's like to call his shots and, and wait for the right opportunities. So, you know, I, the biggest thing is I got to get healthy. I'm not going to go rush out there on someone else's timeline. I'm on my own time, and the UFC knows that. I'm already, you know, a superstar, and I've made so much money. I don't need to fight ever again. So, you know, it, it's really on my, my time, and I'll fight when I'm ready to fight, when I'm healthy. And I want big fights. This kid's a nobody. He just got a split decision over the 12th-ranked kid. I've been fighting world champion after world champion for the last seven years straight. So why, do, why does this kid deserve to fight me? You know, he's literally the B-side, and he thinks he calls the shots and is the A-side. So, you know, I'm going to get healthy, and I'm going to look for the biggest and best fights possible, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what that happens. Who do you want to fight next yeah. when you're ready? By the way, Alicia, I sent you the clip. Um, you can find that in a second. So, by the way, more, more importantly is, how's the leg? Because yeah. people don't understand this. I saw this firsthand when you were on the PBD Pause. You had a walking boot on. You said yeah. that you broke your leg in the first round kicking um, Leon Edwards. Yeah. Um, give us the status on your health, when you're ready to fight, who you would want to fight. We don't, we're not in your world, bro. For sure. So give us a little insight to that. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you know, I broke my foot in three different places on the median cuneiform bone. So it's the midfoot fracture. So it was literally broken like uh, in three different spots going up, sideways and down. So I don't want to be compromised going into my next fight. I want to make sure my fo foot's fully healed. You know, I didn't do the right rehab for it. So it took a little bit longer process. So, you know, it's finally getting to the end of the healing process. And I'm ready to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. So UFC knows I'll show up on short notice if Connor pulls out of this fight in the next two weeks. I'm ready to save the day. I'm that type of fighter. I stay ready. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to pick and choose my shots. I want the biggest fights possible. But, you know, I'm a company man. I love the UFC. So if they call me, I'm ready to fight in I two weeks. I love that, bro. A company man. So a couple of things right there. You said if you get a call from the UFC and Connor pulls out, there's a chance that you could fight Michael Chandler. Yeah, there's oh. definitely a chance. You know, Michael's thrown some shade at me in the past saying, oh, I'll take that fight. But, I, you know, he's just talking. He, he's not really going to walk that talk. So, you know, if, if Connor pulls out, I'm ready to save the day. Okay, so we have the clip from me and Gary. I want to address this. And then we're definitely going to discuss what's happening with Connor McGregor, Michael Chandler, 
UFC 303. This is in June 20. 20- Ninth, I want to say. Mm. We're two weeks out, baby. Two and a half weeks. Here's Ian Gary, and then we'll go to the um, UFC 303. I'll talk to him when I beat the fuck out of him in an octagon. If Trump's in in, in attendance, I will drag Kobe in front of Trump, and I will beat the mouth off him. And I'll say, this is what you've created. Boom. This is MAGA. Boom. I was like, it's no more. Get rid of him. Get him out of UFC. <laughs> I will silence Kobe because of this. Broke my I will hit him so hard he never speaks again. Small ass apartment. Fucking piece of shit. Like from like the me, young prospect. He's gonna go. Shit. All right. Maybe he goes back to Miami. Now he's got one girl on one show, one girl on another show, and he beats the fucking girls. Maybe I should rethink my life choices now. Maybe I should retire. Maybe I should do all these. That kid gave me an ass whooping I've never had before in my life. That's the way I want to beat Kobe. And I don't care where it is or how it's done. I'm going to destroy him. So, Colby, I'm not a fighter, but I've been in some... I played college football. I've been in some fights. The most frustrating thing (laughs) for a dude is for a guy who's never done shit that you know you'll whoop his ass, but he's just running his mouth. Mm. Yeah. And you're like, oh, (laughs) my God. How frustrating is it for a guy who's not on your level, who has never done what you've done, to start running his mouth like this. That doesn't come at you. Yeah. He comes at Trump, Trump and he comes at MAGA. Yeah. You're Trump's favorite fighter. What say yeah. you? You know, there's a reason they call him Corner McGregor. You know why, you know why they call him Corner no. McGregor? This isn't Conor right. McGregor. He's Conor's biggest fanboy, but you want to know why they call him Corner McGregor? Why? Because he sits in the corner and watches his wife get dominated by other oh, men. That's <laughs> right. And that's the truth. That's I mean, dude, guy. he literally lives with his wife and, his, and her ex-husband. Like, it's a little love triangle. Like, he's literally a Corner McGregor. So... I, Anything he says, it doesn't bother my life. My life's not going to change. I live a great life. I've changed my life times 10 over. So this kid, he's just talking. He's talking to talk. He doesn't walk the walk. His last fight, he beat the number 12 guy by split decision. You think I'm scared of you? Uh, I've been knocking out fucking champion mm-hmm. after champion for, for a decade straight. So what? You, why would I care what this fucking there, There's no doubt says. your pedigree. There's no doubt your record. How did his name even come into the equation with you? I don't even know how his name came in. I think just all the fans hate him and his wife and that little situation they got going on so bad that they just wanted me to call it out. They wanted me to say the truth. Like the girl's writing a book about how to be a wag, how to be a wife and a girlfriend. So she's literally telling the people like, this is my life. This is my business, how I conduct business. And she lives with her ex-husband who they have a kid together all in the same house. Like that's some weird cuck shit. So that's why he's Corner McGregor and nothing he says holds any substance. So not Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Corner McGregor. McGregor's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full Sauce cast. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.